1976, the village of Trenfort was incorporated into the town of Klingenberg, an important fact because the mayor of Klingenberg plays a major role in this story. Trenfurt's history goes back to the year 212 AD, as witnessed by this Roman inscription, now preserved in the village church. We'll get back to the church later, but what I was really interested in was this. It's not easy to recognise, but it is in fact an old telephone box. Now that we don't need so many public payphones anymore, there are a lot of empty phone boxes lying around. Most have been scrapped, but some, including this one, have been turned into micro-libraries. Anyone who wants to can deposit a book they've already read, or take out a book they haven't read yet. Klingenberg has a local society dedicated to bringing the fine arts to the general public, and so the mayor suggested that members might like to decorate some old phone boxes and turn them into micro-libraries. A great idea, but the one in Trenfurt caused a bit of a stir. It seems that some residents complained to the council that their children shouldn't have to walk past a skeleton on their way to school. This little scandal even made its way into the local paper, which is how I got to hear about it, and this was clearly something I had to see for myself. Originally, the mayor asked the society to paint over the skeleton, something that started an argument over artistic freedom and censorship. In the end, a compromise was reached. The box was turned so that the skeleton now faces a different road from the one it used to face. According to the newspaper, their reporter asked 15 random passers-by what they thought, and only one of them didn't like it. I'm not a journalist, so I wasn't going to try tracking down the 10 people the mayor claims complained to him. But let's return to the church. It's a strange one, because while part of it is Baroque, most of it is much more modern. That's because it had to be rebuilt after being struck by lightning in 1975. But what's really interesting about it is that it's dedicated to Mary Magdalene, so her statue takes pride of place right over the main entrance. And, as is common in Western art, she is depicted with a skull at her feet, a reminder that we are all mortal. And honestly, I get that these days fewer people go to church and so might not be used to seeing images of torture and death. But surely they still watch Scooby-Doo and Ghostbusters, don't they? Oh, just me then. So, what do you think? Harmless or triggering? Let me know in the comments.